Hey, welcome back. This is part three to our watch on of Kariba 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 single. Yeah. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very good version because of capital reasons. If you had Naughty. a full incursion of this and other things, you can get over to Patreon or channel memberships. I'll put a link in the description up. Come on, baby. Check come that on, out. Baby, come on, baby. part, we will talk about the movie and review it. <gasps> we did do a watch long of a Earfun and Dulker film. That was very funny. Car I one. enjoyed it very much. Car one, right? Yeah. Car one. It was very enjoyable. And um, let's get back into the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I had to remember where we were in the intro. You didn't say your name, Mr. Stepney Auntie. No, 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 don't worry. It's fine, it's fine. Next time, you have to call when you have a friend. Okay? Not a babysitter. I'm in a pressure trip in Sikkim, so don't call me on the phone. And uh, listen. Yes, ma'am. अगर डेटिंग वेबसाइट से किसी को मिल रही हो तो जस्ट टेक इट स्लो ओके साड़ी पिंक लेलीज शादी करने का प्लान है क्या? If he's straight, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. चौदह साल हो गए से। Dreaming now. Let's go. जी बोलिए ए यू मेरी दीदी कहाँ है वेल माय सिस्टर है नहीं बाहर गई विश्व की मशहूर यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ते हो सुश्री जया शशिदरन की भैया अब तक इतना तो समझ ही गए होगे कि मैं कोई चोर नहीं हूँ तुम दीदी के बॉयफ्रेंड हो क्या ए ए टूट ब्रेका हार यहाँ की मशहूर इंडस्ट्री कोई कांग शर्मा कहाँ पर रहते हैं जी जय जी एक बात पूछूं आपसे पूछो पूछ लो शेयर करोगे रास्तों पे तेरा ही बनके हम राही चल चलूं जहां तू कहे। All right. Well, I think there were some nice things in there, but there was a lot of elements of the filmmaking that really let this film down big time and distracted big time. Multiple elements that obviously I'm I'm sure you're going to agree with. Yep. Um, but yeah, there were, there were some nice things and we'll, we'll talk about those, but the, this is one of the biggest 
films I've seen that enforces my hatred for dubbing. Um, and it's what I've always talked about. It's so distracting um, when you see on screen one performance and you hear a completely different performance because they probably mm -hmm. did it months later. And so they're a completely different headspace. And you could tell they're saying it into a mic. And they're, and they're trying to replicate the emotion rather than just be in the emotion. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's, it's so distracting. And one of my biggest pet peeves with dubbing is when they do the... I'm like, why do we need that? Yeah. It's one sounds weird. It's not something that you ever hear unless somebody is this close to you. Correct. <laughs> and so they do it all the time in Indian all films, the too. Time. And I'm like... <sighs> Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> Why it. are you doing that? <laughs> don't do that. No. Just leave it silent. Um, and so, the, the yeah, like there were some moments that weren't as distracting with the dubbing, but then there were a lot of moments, especially in key points of the film, yeah. that it's like, I can't focus on this performance because what I'm hearing is something completely different. Mm -hmm. And it's extremely distracting to me. Yeah. Um, and then also, in the, some of those same moments, it's insanely overscored. Oh, it was... Uh, yes. <laughs> like, like in, in moments that you should either have no score or very little, very subtle score, if you want to, you know, add to something. At time, like at one time, it sounded like there was a circus going on behind it. Or other times, it's like I could barely hear the dialogue Correct. because they were, they were going so loud. Right. Another distracting thing from the story and the relationships uh, going on on screen. Um, <laughs> and then I think there were just some, it, it could have been part dubbing, but as well, there was some really uh, like cheesy writing at times. Not, not with like cheesy in terms of like, oh, this is a rom-com. That's how rom-coms are. That's not what I'm talking about. More like the dialogue is like real choppy and real cheesy and, and bad. It, and just not believable. But the dubbing also could have added to that just because it sounded bad in mm -hmm. your ear <laughs> yeah right mm -hmm. um your thoughts on all that yeah i agree with all of that yeah. completely i could just continue to point out how why it's why all those things are terrible mm -hmm. um i i thought there were so many other things that also contributed to the lack of reality um uh i don't know what sleeping pills she took but that's not <laughs> how you respond to too many sleeping pills um, I, don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know what that was. I Is also it, the writing of it. I never cared about them. I was never rooting for their relationship. Uh, I don't understand why he suddenly felt the urge to go. I mean, I guess they went. He challenged her to come see his exes so that he could prove to her that they loved him so much they were all weeping. That's not a really strong drive for a character to have a why for what they're doing for mm. either one of them. Mm very weak why mm. um the fourth wall breaks didn't work even when we found out who she's talking to yeah it, it you didn't i didn't feel like they were needed at all at all like i felt like it was like a thing that was like oh what if i do a cool fourth wall break it was a novelty this? yes because like you did it a few times at the beginning and then there was like 30 45 minutes nothing yeah, and then it's, you it's did a novelty. it at the end even though barvati as an actress because there was no dubbing at that moment had a good moment it was like oh but where like, I totally forgot you even did that. <laughs> right. And <laughs> you, you know? should, I mean, that's the the end. The last 15, 20 minutes is the payoff. You should yeah. care. And, okay, she changed her password, which means she's moved on from her ex. I cared more about her changing her ring five minutes into the film. Yeah. Yeah, it just didn't didn't yeah. work on a bunch um, of levels. I, I don't think I didn't fully care because I, I wanted to, but there were so many things that definitely distracted me from getting in like as invested as i want to be in a rom-com you want to obviously especially you, yeah obviously that's the whole point that's the, the whole the, point like oh it's I those need these two people, people yeah together. i need them together uh when harry met sally obviously um different but similar in terms of two people very different and they go about their lives and they butt heads and then become friends but then you're like guys it's been 15 years get together you're yeah. so perfect together uh um, sleepless in seattle yeah you're yeah. just you're you're aching for them to be together yeah um, and so even though like, I feel like they gave good performance, especially at, at times you, it was hard to tell all the time. So because of the dubbing, um, and yeah, that's for any actor, 
that you could put you could put Daniel Day Lewis and those these are both great actors, obviously Barvati and 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 Irfan. But you could put Daniel Day Lewis and then you give him dubbing four months later on a film, and it's going to be very distracting if Bill the Butcher was not dubbed. I mean, uh, not caught on the day. Yeah, <laughs> especially if it's also. I feel like a lot of it wasn't fully synced. At no, all times. it wasn't. It felt like I felt like. I heard something and their mouth kept moving in that certain moments. Absolutely happened. Um, yep. And so if you're going to do it, when do it well. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, two of the pillar principles of theatrical storytelling are ensuring you can maintain suspension of disbelief. And the definition of acting, by according to Sanford Meisner, and most actors will believe it this in some way, shape, or form, is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. Mm dubbing obliterates any idea of believing the truth of the actor mm -hmm. and believing that what I'm seeing is real. It, it just, I, it, I'm constantly reminded of the fact that this was done post-production ADR. I'm not in the moment with the people. There's so many things that can distract you already in a film. Yeah. In a film, what? you don't need to contribute to it yourself as the filmmakers. Yeah, it and just does no service to anybody. Yeah, I mean, it's it. It would be extremely rare to ever obviously have that here. Obviously, we know and we've talked to many a actors and and filmmakers about dubbing, mm -hmm. and obviously, it's been so used in Indian cinema sometimes really, really well. Yeah, like you can't even tell, and then other times. We've seen it, this and many other things. Obviously, we've seen that. <laughs> but even when it's done very well, it's never as good as no, Sank Sound. No, ever. It never will be. Because it's, yeah, you're, you're <laughs> never going to be in the same place. Even when you watch a film in Sync Sound here and they don't capture something on the day and they have to do ADR. You can tell. You can tell. Yeah. Those little moments, you're like, oh, they had to do that in post. Yeah, like when somebody's walking yep. in here. Hey, what are you doing? I'm like, that didn't sound like it Correct. was on the it day. It wasn't on the day. You can tell. Yeah. And obviously, if it's like a one-off thing, then you can f kind of forgive some of that stuff sometimes. Right. But like this was like almost unique, especially with Parvati's character. Yeah. They, it 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 her her dubbing seemed very strange. But then I was also just watching her a lot of times. And I'm like, I can see a good performance here, on on the screen. And then what I'm hearing is something completely different. And also there's very strange if i would if i would have watched this before you interviewed her i would have asked her about maybe not just this experience but dubbing in general and her opinion on it as sure. an actor sure Does she feel like it's very distracting yeah um in a film and also do, like does it as an actor upset her having to go back in and being like i'm gonna try to be in the same place oh, I, I but also Usually, if you're in a studio, you're not opposite your co-actors. You're not in the space. So you're never going to be, ever. You will never be in the same headspace uh, in a studio. And you can never replicate the magic of the serendipity moment. You can't. It's, it's why acting is what it is and why great storytelling is what it is. There's times you capture a moment. You cannot replicate a moment. With the moment you try to replicate it, it's no longer a spontaneous moment. It's, it's just like pre-shaping what you do as an actor where you're just going to deliver the line the same way every single time yeah. rather than be in the moment listening to the other actor. It, it's just a, a huge yeah. disservice. The, the other thing that was very bothersome to me was it and it's it causes the lack of connection to the characters in the story is not just for the actors, but for the screenwriting. You are one of the most critical aspects of that is what is my characters? Why? What is their super objective? What do they want? Why do they want it? And how does anyone either help them get it or get in the way of what they're wanting? And that's why rom-coms work when you have, like the ones you mentioned, mm. you have people who have a very deep want and a deep why. And car one as well. Like with yeah. yeah. And, and, and in this one, I... Those were never really clearly shaped and formed, nor was it clearly shaped and formed as to how the other person met the why, mm. which makes you root for them and want them together. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just in a, in a lot of ways, it was um, just very disappointing. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I did like the actual songs, not the not the dubbing songs, I thought were nice. I was tapping my toe during those. Um, and like I said, I think it, oh God, next time we talk to a producer, I, I really want to ask a question. 
um, or, or maybe a filmmaker would know, but a producer would probably know better. What is the cost difference between dubbing and sync sound? And why is that such a, it, it has to be such an astronomical difference because a filmmaker knows <laughs> they like, they're not stupid. They have to know that sync sound is better. It ha like it doesn't even, because like, Dubbing is like almost never an option here. That's like not, um, it's only for like makeup small bits. Yeah, it's, if, it's post production ADR for stuff you missed on the day. Yeah. If you, and you don't have the budget to reshoot. Sure. Right. And that's the other thing. If you have the time and the budget, you won't ADR it. You'll go out and reshoot it. Yeah. If you have the time and money, right. obviously. Right. But um, I, I want to talk to them. Like, in India, what is the cost difference and why are people so prone to just dub it? I think what I think what it comes down to is they look at the number of shoot days and they see, oh, I can get this thing shot in two weeks instead of three weeks by using no sound on the day, meaning I don't have to hold for planes flying by if a corn if a India, horn honks India in the middle of a monologue. Loud. India is loud. Uh, pff, I can just I'm guaranteed that I have far less possibilities of things slowing down, not just my on the day, yeah. but my post. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering that if, it's the it's it's a matter of making decisions about the money versus the artistic excellence. I'm wondering. Period. I'm wondering if part of it is because India is such a loud country. Like I'm sure it's a tons huge of part people. of it. Obviously, if you're shooting outside, there's people, there's horns, there's you know many other different things. But that happens um, here. I mean, you got that stuff, and I know it's particularly loud there. But there's. If you care about the artistic excellence of what you're conveying and you want a very particular thing to take place, and I think it's just become so normal to just bypass that. And it's unfortunate because it, it does a disservice to what could otherwise have been better storytelling. And Ida, we obviously we just watched um, or rewatched um, Lapatapa Ladies. Yeah, Lapata Ladies. Ladies. Yeah. That seemed like it was sync sound if it wasn't. If it wasn't, it was um, it was brilliant. Perfect. Uh, perfectly dubbing. done dubbing. I don't know. Right. It sounded like it was synced. Um, it did to me too, and it wouldn't shock me because uh, that's I think the the creator is Amir Khan's ex wife, right? Uh -huh. uh, it would not surprise me if it was all sync sound. Plus, villages, yeah, the train station. If the, you know the train schedule, you you can control a lot of the sound. That. Yeah, it should. That would be such an interesting question to me to uh, ask a producer. Like if we ever got to talk to Karen Johar, obviously he has the money, but even then, I think he they because obviously his films aren't they're more you know if he's directing or more upscale, but I feel like even like a film like he produced kill that seemed like it was synced. Did it not? Yeah, that was synced out to me. Right. That's, that was it, synced it felt synced. Yep. Um, like I feel like so you, was, so was like, undercurrent. Um, I feel like you could have taken, so this, was 12 fail. Yeah. I feel like you could have taken this film synced sound it and it wouldn't have still been perfect. Cause it would have definitely still been overscored if you didn't change that aspect as well. Um, there was definitely elements that were very, very, very overscored in this, but you could make it um, seventy percent better by <laughs> having having that. It wouldn't, that wouldn't I mean, eliminate all the issues. Wouldn't eliminate all the issues. That's what I'm saying. But that was my biggest issue, especially from being invested. I would have appreciated also just in the writing. I would have appreciated one conversation that was a heart to heart with each other where we begin to see them care for the other person because they have, of of the differences that they have, they do have one thing in common, and I think it's why she picked him in the first place. He, too, is widowed. That was just dropped. That ball was fumbled. Uh, that was such a gift to have that aspect of the story and not let that be a point of connection where you can deeply fall in love with them falling in love with each other. Mm. Just didn't work. Yeah. Yep. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the movie. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, what your thoughts on it, what your thoughts on it, our thoughts on it, our thoughts on your thoughts are. Uh, <laughs> uh, let us know, know what our next, uh, Parvati and Irfan films, uh, they both have quite a, quite a few, um, that we've not seen before. Uh, for Hindi as well, which will be our next Hindi watch along. Uh, if you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very good version because of copyright readings, the see full and cut version of this and other things, including other Irfan things like a car one. Fantastic piece of uh, cinema there. Uh, you can have the Patreon or channel memberships up in the link description, show up in comments. You go check those out. And, uh, all the links, watch along.